NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal was in Houston to celebrate the grand opening of the first big chicken restaurant in Texas at Westheimer and South Gessner. The grand opening was packed with local celebrities and Shaq fans. Mel Camp from Houston Life was among distinguished guests. She's joining us now <laughs> to chat about the night. Thank you so much for waking up early and coming in. You like that? Oh, yeah. Distinguished guests. Distinguished guests. I know. I was going to crack a joke. I was going to go, yeah, there was celebrities. There was Shaq and there was Mel. But, hey, I'll take distinguished guest. <laughs> How was it? Oh, well, actually, I mean, it was awesome, yeah. but it was packed. It was so jam-packed full of people, so it was a pretty intense, <laughs> intense day. But good chicken. And good, good chicken? Shack. Yeah. Um, how is he? Oh, okay, so I think we were all a bit overwhelmed with the crowds, and so there was a bit of a, like, whoa, okay. And I had expected to get an interview with him, and I was like, all right, this is good, we're going to get an interview. And... Um, and then it just got more and more people and more and more intense. And I was like, he's not going to give you interviews. Did he? No. He didn't. He didn't. But. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, no, so he, he, at one point he walked past me and my photographer, Lenny. You can see us there in the mix. I mean, this gives you an idea of how jam-packed it was. It was... There he is. Oh my goodness, towering. Yeah. Towering over everybody. <laughs> He's like up here. Wait, stand up real now, quick. Wait, okay. Oh yeah, wait, you're, Shaq, you're Shaq's height now, I think. Oh my goodness, Hang look on, at this. We have this to, is like we have to demonstrate this. Wait, are you Shaq? Oh wait, if I go like this, you're about, Shaq, you're about Shaq's height. This is wild because this is how it usually is. <laughs> so he's I'm quite all tall. the way up here. Everyone was like, he is giant. Oh my I goodness. I look like the little mini person next to him. Um, you should Google Shaq holding things. We, Shaq holding things. <laughs> Carolyn and I were doing that before. <laughs> <laughs> and Shaq holding things, Google that. That'll give you a laugh today. But yeah, he walked past me. And, um, and at one point, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to have an interview with him. So it's all good. I'll just be chill. But he walked past and I had the microphone there. So I shall oh, look at the crowd here. That's wild. This is actually when he tried to leave. I was like, oh, wait, hang on. I haven't got an interview yet. But he walked past. Oh, there she is. <laughs> there I am. Um, he walked past and I, I shoved the microphone in his face. Not, I mean, that sounds like I was very Aggressive, you, you, in, a, in, a, in a kind way. Yeah, with a big smile on my face. And I said, hey, you the, <laughs> are you the big chicken around here? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. That was my first question. What did Jack. he say? How did he answer? Well, he kind of, we do, we do have the clip. He kind of, there's a little smirk on his face. And I think we <laughs> are you the big chicken around here? Yes, uh, everyone knows Shaq loves Houston. I've been living here 20, 30 years. If you're in the area, come on down. Check out my new big chicken restaurant. Yeah, so his face was kind of like big chicken. He's like, he was mm. trying so hard not, not to, to crack a smirk, <laughs> right? right? Well, and I was like, cool, awesome. You know, I'm going to interview him. So I left him. I didn't want to keep yeah. annoying him. And I was waiting for my interview turn. And then I was like, he's not going to do an interview. Honestly, I panicked. Could you imagine yes. if the only the question... The one assignment you have <laughs> you don't... is to get sound from Shaq. And all you did was ask him, are you the big chicken around here? I was like, that's going to be the only question I ever get to ask Shaq. I can't believe... So I was freaking out. So, you know, Lenny and I just followed him around in the, like, throng of people. Uh, you know, I fueled myself with some strawberry margaritas and <laughs> had a few shack attack, shack attack chicken sandwiches. But we followed him around and at one point we were right next to him and we were stuck. And I looked at him and I went, hey, I guess we're stuck. And he was like, yeah. And I went, do you want to do an interview? And so, yeah, so he, he I actually got... I think it, I'm pretty sure it was the only interview. Oh, I had. love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. So Tell us about the food. In addition to everything else you experienced, which is so awesome, uh, the food, you, you were able to try some of the food? Yes, absolutely. And it was, it was good. I mean, it was fresh yeah. out of the fryer, but absolutely delicious. And the thing that I love about all of the sandwiches at Big Chicken is they're named after things that are very personal to Shaquille O'Neal. Like one of the sandwiches is called the Big Aristotle and that's a nickname that he gave himself after he won the um, NBA MVP award in the year 2000. Wow. And he said it's a really cool quote. It's sort of, um, it basically says it's an Aristotle quote that it says that um, excellence is not an act, but it's a habit. You know, it's this idea that. that it's yeah. not something that you just do once. It's this like, it's something that you consistently, consistence builds excellence. So that was, that was really inspiring. And he does have so many mentors, which I think is a really cool thing about. 
Yeah, he, he has he has mentors that he's been very open about, but he's also had the opportunity to mentee thousands of of people, young men, uh, young women, yeah. but certainly on the court and off the court. Well, and that's one thing that I saw with all the kids there. I was like, how you know what makes you want to be more like Shaq? One kid was like, I'm kind to people. And, and the kids were so aware that of how much he gives back to the community, and I think that's a really inspiring thing. Um, and <laughs> you know what? <laughs> the thing that I love the most out of the sandwiches, and I wouldn't say that this guy is necessarily a mentee. They sort of had their little, like... Right, yeah. <laughs> so I think, I think um, Shaquille O'Neal gets the last laugh here, but there is one of the sandwiches named after Charles Barkley. Yeah, so you know, when we were young, chicken was uh, like the main meal. We had three days out of the week, so we had a variety of chicken sandwiches, the Jerome, uh, the Chicago, and the Charles Barkley, which is my sloppiest sandwich. If you ever come in here and get the Charles Barkley, that's the sloppiest sandwich ever. I was going to say it's the messiest burger around, yes. but he said sloppy, Sloppiest. so <laughs> love that. So you still, yeah, and you know, the, the Charles Barkley, it was called the Charles Barkley, but they've had to call it the, the sloppy. The sloppy. Because um, there's Charles Barkley's kind of got a thing going with, with Subway. He, well, he's with Subway at the moment. So after, you know, but anyway, so that's a little insider tip. Love that. That's named after Charles Barkley. As we so, know, it's just so much more than just a restaurant. It's yeah. going to be a staple in this community for so many people. It really, it really is. And it is yummy. It is yummy. They do have strawberry margaritas. <laughs> that are also Wait, yummy. Wait, I should be talking about margaritas. What time is <laughs> it? It is, uh, is 8.23, you got me up so early. Right? You got me up right? so early. It is 5 o'clock somewhere, as Sam just said in my ear. <laughs> yeah. She's buying. Well, around... in Houston, you know, Houston Life, we're always having a toast right? or something. But yeah, yeah. So to Houston Life today, we will have the, the most of the chat with Shaq. Uh, most of and the chat most with of the Shaq. Shaq. Most I of the chat that. with Shaq. Yeah, and then it's 2 o'clock. Like this afternoon you get extended everything else that was left over. Everything oh yeah, right here on KPRC mm -hmm. 2 Plus. Yeah, yeah. So that's that'll, a good deal. That'll be fun. Join the party.